The space community is starting to hear rumors that a variant of the space shuttle called Jupiter 241 Stretched Heavy may be on the table as a possible replacement to both Ares 1 and 5. According to NASASpaceflight.com, additional clues to back this up came late last week when a decision to dispose of the current Space Shuttle Main Engine, or SSME, was put on delay. The Constellation architecture that NASA is currently building doesn't use SSMEs, but the Jupiter 241 does. This alone doesn't mean that we'll have a Jupiter 241 or any shuttle-derived launch vehicles, but it is an interesting sign. The Constellation program is woefully over budget, so much so that it is no longer a reality for NASA in its current form. The Altair lunar lander has already been defunded, and it sounds like Ares-1 is about to meet the same fate. Will Jupiter fill that hole? Remember, the space shuttle is shutting down, and NASA's current plan is to use the Ares-1, which may no longer have any funding. Well, we may not have to wait long for an answer. At the next presidential address, it is expected that President Obama will outline plans for NASA. That's usually a good sign. Generally, the president doesn't cut huge national programs in public. That's done behind closed doors. So this stands to possibly be a great thing for NASA. Regardless of the vehicle, so long as we have something, anything, that can get us back to the moon, onto Mars, exploring near-Earth objects, and start pushing out amongst the stars, well, that's a good thing. And it's not the vehicle that matters, it's the exploration itself. Douglas from Parabolic Arc will be on our live show this Friday at 2 a.m. Coordinated Universal Time to talk about human spaceflight. For those in the U.S., that's Thursday night at 6 p.m. Pacific or 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We hope to see you there.